This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Pusha T, so he came up with the whole phrase, I'm loving it, with McDonald's. Arby's, he, now he made an Arby's diss track for McDonald's, dissing their filet of fish and everything. It was kind of funny. I'll, I'll give him that. Like, creative. Arby's probably paid him a lot of money because he just came up with some. He wrote something else for Arby's, too. I forget which one it was. He come up with he came up with some of their slogans. He's good at that stuff. Just drop a diss track with Arby's. Grab some popcorn and a fish sandwich. Who would eat popcorn and a fish sandwich? How about some curly fries, which Arby's is known for, and a fish sandwich. Their fish sandwich is good. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Tina Snow, aka Meg The Stallion, ungrateful. So. Carl's taking her to court from 1501. That's the guy who put up the millions to get her known, right? Um, she said, Carl, I don't want to be signed to your pill-popping ass. You talk about I ain't paid for a show. And you sound slow. I'm the artist. I don't pay you directly. Maybe fight with the man you signed to and might see some money. Powder head. You had him behind Jay Prince. Uh, she's collecting her money and he, she's in a 360 deal, obviously. So he gets money off her shows and she's not paying it. He has a, he's going to bring her to court. Then, um, he said, stop playing the victim stallion. You haven't paid for one show since 2019. Hide him behind rock nation. You can keep that BS mixtape and send over straight drop whenever you're ready. Cause they're not, they're not allowing this tape here. Something for the hotties to be counted as an album. I don't know why. Then she said, first the man over my label over my label said, I don't make him any money. Now he counters Sue and trying to keep me on his label because he wants to make more money. I ain't making you no money. Why you not just drop me? Let me go. Greedy men. How about just greedy in general? Okay, the woman that took advantage of TLC was it was a woman. My lawyers ask him an expense report. Money 1501 supposedly has spent on me. Why this grown man put his jewelry and chains on there? Lord, free me from this joke label. She had a 1501 lab, uh, chain too, though. I chose not to say nothing about court, address it online, and about court and address th this online. But I'm getting tired of being painted as the bad guy. 2-47... The last girl on 1501 mad at this man, too. My lawyers asked him for an expense reform, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they already did that. Uh, I'm going to tell you, man. She, she made it hostile by talking about him years ago and created a hostile environment, then tried to go to Rock Nation at the same time and get free from his life. She's, she's not respecting that this man put up millions of dollars to get her hot. I don't care what he did. He put up the money. That's big. He's an investor. You ca I can't borrow money from my house from the bank and say, hey, guess what, guys? You ain't fix this house. You ain't do this. I ain't doing nothing no more. You know? You gotta pay him back. He's not paid back. You, there's a contract with it. I'm gonna owe the bank a certain amount of money when I give them their money back. She's going to owe Carl Crawford interest, you know, on, on what he put in. There's a there's a contract. I don't care what she thinks about him. She's being really ungrateful. I don't like it when artists do that and they make it public. Like, go to court and just handle it like that. She created a hostile environment. I'm not saying it's all her fault. I'm sure Carl's done some things that she didn't like. And, you know, maybe someone's in her ear telling her the wrong information, you know, uh, it seems like Rock Nation kind of does this with certain people. Like, look, Meek, Meek's already, like, he wants off uh, uh, Maybach. When Maybach, without without Rick Ross co-signing Meek Mill, he never would have gone anywhere. He was hot in Philly. And that's just a fact, okay? I believed in Meek Mill. I shot a video for him before he was even signed to, to Maybach Music Group, okay? I thought he was dope. I, I like Meek's music. Don't ever get that wrong. I like, I like Meek's rapping. I don't like his antics, but he's talented. You can't take that away from him, okay? And that's what I always respect is talent and hard work. And he worked hard. 
to get where he's at. He did. But people get in people's ears and you know, you get there's a different way to handle things. It doesn't have to be hostile. Then we got Rich Homie Quan. A lot of people are talking about him falling off. He had a problem with his label. I forget what label that was. It's the same one that YNW, no, no, YFN Lucci signed to. Anyway, I forget the name of the label. Trinidad James was signed to the label too. I, I fly flies the guy that runs it. I forget the name of it. But anyways, he said we picked the. Th- so this is the manager of Rich Homie Quan. He said we picked the thirty year plan ten years ago. I think one hit wonder. He's had more than one hit. He's had a few. Five. Um, what happened was him and Young Thug got into it too, and they stopped working together. I don't know. Young Thug says he did something, but he won't talk about what it was. But if he was still friends with Young Thug, he would have never fell off because. So there's a lot of things that can happen in music. Life period. What happened to me? I mean, it, do, do you want to hear what happened to me? I can only relate it to myself and others. So like, so sometimes, like with my situation, I help people go from nothing to something. I gave them a boost. They did other stuff themselves. It's not just me. Sometimes people want to distance themselves from people that like knew like don't see them as a star like i would have never saw these people as a star i would have uh, recognized the talent and they want to be around yes people so that's one thing that can happen or you could just do something to piss like artists i noticed they just you know they don't like someone's uh, what someone does or they mess with someone they don't mess with and they don't mess with them anymore i think that's what happened to rich homie kwan situation and you kind of need your relationships the way i was structuring my stuff was like I'm going to help these people like Yo Gotti, 2 Chains, all these people get to a better level. And then, you know, once they get to that, you know, they're going to be a star and they're, you know, like they're going to, it's different when it's not just a name, it's a face. And if I need help, they'll lift me up. That didn't happen. But it, there's nothing wrong with that. It was my bad. I should have probably figured a different way out to do it. You know, I trusted people. Rich Homie Kwan, I don't know what happened with him and Young Thug, but he kind of needed that relationship. That's it, man. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.